Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, more like microtransaction fueled. I was a PlayStation kid, but I still managed to never play their original Crash Team Racing, so I have going for me what most playing this game don't. The lack of nostalgia blinding me for what this game ultimately is. Crash Team Racing is an okay kart racer with greed killing its ultimate fun factor. I'm a huge fan of kart racers, I'm a huge fan of Crash Bandicoot, so I went into this game wanting to love it. I've heard so many good things about the original, so much so that I bought the PlayStation Classic version to one day play it, only for months later to get smacked with the announcement that they're remaking the original, much like the Crash Collection. And quite frankly, this should have been included in that collection, because by itself it's not special enough in present day 2019 to justify a standalone release. The tracks are boring, the racing is slow, the pickups are lame, the adventure mode takes a measly 3 hours to complete, and everything is hidden behind a paywall. Kart racers are good are meant to be played over and over, do challenges, unlock characters and skins, but greed got in the way of Nitro Fuel. The tiniest unlockables like wheels or color schemes take a ridiculous amount of coin to unlock for how little you earn for completing races. Killing the potential hook of racing over and over, doing all the challenges to get that quick rewarding feeling of progress. Oddly enough, this is my biggest gripe with this game. I may not have the rose tinted glasses everyone else has, but I can be forgiving when it comes to this game feeling dated. Because it is, it's a remake of a 20 year old game. It's okay that the control scheme feels unintuitive. It's okay that the tracks aren't spectacular. Because back in the day, these tracks were full of life. The control scheme was perfect. It's sad to me that the modern day aspects actually take away from the potential greatness of this game. I want to earn my characters and gear. I don't want to pay for them and I don't want to grind for them. But that's the reality of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. You're rewarded at a slow pace playing a dated kart racer to try and force money from your wallets. I don't have the nostalgia whispering in my ear telling me the sweet little lies that this is the greatest kart racer of all time. The racing, the tracks, none of it could keep my attention barely long enough to get through the 3 hour campaign, let alone grind for hours to get a new paint job. There is some positive here though. This is a beautiful remake of a PlayStation 1 game. The tracks look beautiful. I'm so happy that the campaign manages to keep them fresh throughout, really repeating aside from boss battles as you prove yourself to be the fastest racer in the world. I do wish however you could change the difficulty settings mid-adventure instead of having to start a new one completely. Or better yet, have the difficulty of the races increase as the campaign goes on, rather than set every race as either easy, medium, or hard and deal with that throughout the entire 3 hours. This keeps the campaign feeling stale and flat instead of exciting and challenging. I would love to see Crash come back with a Crash 4, and this team tackle an Activision kart racer with the knowledge obtained by going back and playing these classics. And while doing this, seeing the flaws, seeing where they can improve instead of pretending they're perfect like everyone else does. I give Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled a 6 out of 10. If you play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up, thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe for me on the channel. And thanks for watching. I bet we look extra delicious, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I look tasty.